I welcome all of you guys in the lesson number 49 for grade three mathematics. We're studying about multiples of fives and tens. Uh, we were on question number 16 yesterday. We completed other questions. And uh, in question number 16, we had to write the matching calculation for this picture. So I told you guys, we will write here the matching calculation. Every crab is having how much? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten and ten legs, and there are total five crabs. So ten by five equals to fifty, and five by ten is equals to also fifty. So this is the answer for this. Clear, guys. Yes, no, sir. no, sir, it's four. It's four, it's four. Like yes, sir. It is four? Yes. Oh, sorry. Yes, sir. Four. Yes, sir. Exactly, it is four. There are four crabs. Hi, sir. It's not One, two, three, four. All right. There are four crabs. Mm -hmm. 10 by four equals to 40, and four by 10 equals to 40. All right? Yes, sir. Right. That's very good. Why 10? Because there are 10 hands and legs and there are total four crabs. One, two, three, and four. 10 by four and four by 10, that's equals to 40. All right, guys. Now we are going to write a matching story for these calculation. Okay, now calculation is given to you guys and you have to write a story. For that, you will take out your notebooks, please. We are going to do this. Take out your notebooks. We will do question number 17 in our notebook. I'm going to share a new screen with you. Can you see the new screen, guys? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. Hi. Very good. Yes, sir. Yes. Write the date. Today is 24 March 2021. And it is Wednesday. And page number 62, topic multiples of 5 and 10. And we are going to complete question number 17. Question number 17. What is question number 17? Write a matching story for these for each of these calculations. Write a matching story of for each of these calculations. Each of these calculations. What is A? A is 9 by 5 is equals to 45. 9 by 5 is equals to 45. So you have to write, guys, matching story here. Okay? So how you will write it? Like uh, in the book, you see the matching story was first given. The picture was given and you have to write a uh, calculation. Now calculation is given and you have to write a story. So I'm going to write one story for you. And that is there are 
nine shelves in John's room. There are nine shelves in John's room. If each shelf has five books in it, so there are forty five books all together. This is the answer, guys. There are nine shelves in John's room. If each shelf has five books in it, so there are forty-five books all together. This is the matching calculation. Look, there are nine shelves uh, in John's room. In one shelf, how many books are there? Five. So what is the total? Nine multiplied by five. Nine multiplied by is equals to forty-five. So there are forty-five books all together. Clear, guys? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very, very, very clear, sir. Only one minute to write. Yes, sir. Okay, that's very good. Write it first. What? Yes, Emma Jibrail. What, sir? What you you say? No clear. No, no. Uh, in the first that you write five multiplied by ten. Okay. okay. I read together. No clear. All right, guys. The B, B is three multiplied by ten equals two thirty. Three multiplied by ten equals two thirty. Now you have to write a matching story for this also. You have to write matching story. For this also, so I'm going to write there are thirty suits. There are three chocolates and one pack. There are three chocolates. Sorry, make it. There are ten packs of chocolate. Okay, there are ten packs of chocolate. If each bag has three ch chocolates, so there are thirty chocolates all together. There are ten packs of chocolate, guys. If each pack has three chocolates, so there are thirty chocolates all together. Clear? Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, but I don't finish. Okay. Look again. I repeat. There are total ten packs. So look, there are ten packs. Each pack has how many chocolates? Three. Three. If you want to know how much total, you will multiply three by ten. So there are thirty chocolates all together. You multiply, it is equals to thirty. This is the answer. Now see. Guys, are you still writing? So I am in all together. Yes, okay, okay. Yes, okay, okay. Finish it fast. No problem. Finish it fast. I am going to write C. That is fifteen divided by five. Divided by. Yes. 
equals three. No, hold, hold, hold. Should have lied. No. Should have lied. Sorcerer. Sorcerer. No. Okay, guys, I'm going to write 15 divided by 5. Now, guys, uh, the sentence is division sentence. It is not multiplication sentence. Let's suppose if I say there are Fifteen sweets in five boxes. So each box has how many? Three sweets. There are fifteen sweets. In five boxes. So each box has three sweets. Clear, guys? Yes, sir. I finished. Very good. Look, there are 15 sweets in five boxes. Total sweets are 15, and total boxes are five. If you want to find out how many. Uh, sweets are there in one box. You will divide 15 by 5. So each box has three sweets. So this is your answer. Now we will do D. Before going D, I'm going to give you two minutes to complete C. Guys, are you writing it? Sir, we finish it. Yeah, sir, I'm finished. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All finished? Can I go down? Yes. Okay, okay, I'm giving you two minutes. Complete it fast, then I'll go down. Only the last. Guys, until then, you tell me the D. You have to make uh, a st story for the D. D is 60 divided by 10 is equals to 6. Uh, is equals to 6. Write any matching story and tell me. Write any matching story and tell me. Yes, guys, in the chat box. Write any matching story for D and tell me. I will see your answer. Yes, guys, I did not receive any answers from you. Try to write a, number, uh, a story for D. Emma Jibril is saying there are 60 chocolates in 10 packs. So each pack has six chocolates. Very good, Emma Jibril. Exactly, very good. Guys, anyone? Any other? Karim Nasir, I need a uh, you know matching story for this calculation. I need a matching story for this calculation. Calculation is sixty divided by ten. Ammar Khal is saying there are 60 toys in 10 boxes. So each box has six toys. 
वेरी गुड अम्बार खालिद वेरी गुड अम्बार खालिद करीम मोहम्मद इज सेंग देर आर सिक्सटी पेंसिल्स इन टेन बॉक्स सो ईच बॉक्स हैव सिक्स पेंसिल वेरी गुड All right, guys. I am going to write D now. D is sixty divided by ten. I need to see the question. Sixty divided by ten or six? Sixty divided by ten equals to six. I'm going to write the matching story here. There are sixty passengers in there are sixty passengers in. Ten buses. So each bus has six passenger. There are sixty passengers in ten buses. So each bus has six passenger. Jihad Muhammad said the store has ten packs of apples. In each pack there are ten apples. Very good, Jihad. Jihad Al Sayed said we have sixty chocolate. Each box have ten in it. How many boxes do we need, uh, Jihad? It should not be a question because you have to write for this whole division sentence. So the answer should be in it. Okay, like we have sixty chocolate e uh, in ten uh, boxes, and each box has six. Okay, finish it. Yes, guys, is it clear? Sir, I wrote mine. I did it also. No problem. No problem, guys. If your number story, if your matching story is correct, that's fine. Okay. Remember, the answer should be there. Okay. The answer should be there. There should not be question. It sh there should be answer as well. Okay. Because you have to write the matching story for the whole division sentence. Clear, guys. Okay, sir. I open camera. Sir, I open camera. Yes, sir. Very good. Don't need to open camera. Send it in the chat box. I will check and I will tell whether it's correct or not. Guys, finish it fast because we have to start new topic today. That is days and week. If you want to show me what you write for D, you can share it. and i'll tell you whether it's correct or not there are 60 pencils in 10 box so each box have six pencil very good kareem ahmed mohammed i did not get your question how can i found multiply sign in the keyboard if you are asking you can use x for multiply use capital x for multiplication no problem okay otherwise use a static yes ipad mohammed uh, in uh, uh, oh sorry ahmed mohammed in ipad you can also find x just type where you type a b c d check out x and type it capital make it capital guys did you finish writing वेरी गुड गाइज नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू टॉपिक डेज एंड वीक्स विच इज ऑन पेज नंबर आई टेल यू द पेज नंबर विच इज ऑन पेज नंबर सिक्सटी एट ओके सो वी आर गोइंग टू राइट सम बेसिक फैक्ट्स इन द नोटबुक Starting from new page, guys. Don't write from the same page. Start from new page. Again, I'm writing same thing. Date, topic name, page number, 
but start from new page. The topic is days and weeks. This is the new topic guys, days and weeks. It is on page number 68. We are going to write some basics for this topic guys. So open your notebook and write something about days and weeks. One year has dash days. I'm going to write some point guys for days and week. One year has 365 or 366 days. Okay, this is I'm going to make it underline. You should remember these facts guys. One year has either 365 or 366 days. In a leap year, it has 366 days and in a non-leap year, it has 365 days. Okay. In leap year, it has 366 days and in non-leap year, it has 365 days. Guys, what is leap year and what is uh, non-leap year? Leap year is the year in which you have month of February uh, in which number of days in February are 29, not 28. You are familiar with the leap year that uh, normally February has 28 days, but after every four year, their leap year comes in which February has 29 days. So if it is leap year, then because of February one day, there are total 366 days. And if it is non-leap year, that's mean February has 28 days. So the total the number of days in a non-leap year are 365. Is it clear, guys? Clear, yes, sir. We know it from English. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's very good. Uh, that's very good if you know it from English, but you should know it also for math, okay? All right, guys, now uh, I tell you one thing that how you can find out the any year is a leap year or not, okay? I'll give you the example. Let's suppose if I ask you 2020. I will ask is 2020 a leap year or not? Is this a good, this is the question. So what you will do guys, the solution is you will divide 2020 by four. If it is divisible by four, like if the last two digit is divisible by four, then you will say, yes, it is leap air and if the last two digit is not divisible by four so you will say it is not a leap year so i will say 2020 is a leap air because 
the last digit the last two digit of 2020 what are the last two digit of 2020 20 is divisible by 4 okay now another if i ask you is Two thousand twenty-one, a leap year or not? So again, guys, how you will see? Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Yes, guys, check twenty. Twenty is divisible by four. Check the last two digit. The last two digit are twenty-one. Twenty-one is divisible by four. Yes or no? No. Yeah. Oh, no. 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 Is it clear, guys? How you will find out a leap year or non-leap year? Yes, sir. Can we wait? Yes, sir. 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 So, examples of leap year. Are you can write two thousand twenty, two thousand sixteen, two thousand twelve. Okay, and if you write examples of non leap years. So you can write also examples of non-leap year, or even you can go further. Two thousand twenty-four will be also leap year. Examples of non-leap year. Two thousand twenty-one. Two thousand nineteen. Two thousand twenty-two, two thousand twenty-three. There can be many. Clear, guys? Yes, very, 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 very clear, sir. Very, 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 very clear. That's very good. Now I'm going to write some more thing. You know about in one month. How many days? January thirty-one, February thirty, uh, February twenty-eight to twenty-nine, March thirty-one, then April thirty. You know about it. You know about the days of the month. No, sir. Yes, we don't sir. Yes, 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 sir. No. Okay. If you don't know, then we will write about the months also. That which month have how many days? January has how many days? February has how many days? March has how many days? If you don't know, we will write it so that you would know. Yes, sir. Yeah, I know. know. Yeah. Okay, okay, we will write it. And guys, uh, one thing I already discussed with you that one week has. Sorry, one month has how many weeks? Or one year has fifty-two weeks. I told tell you before also, one year has total 
52 weeks and also I can say another fact I can write about days and week that one week is having seven days. One week has seven days. Clear guys? Okay, I'm going up. Yes, guys, write it. So now you are you uh, you know about the leap year, you know about the non leap year. Okay, and you know how to find out a leap year, any year is a leap year or not. You also know some facts that one year has 365 or 366 days and one year has 52 weeks and one week has seven days. In the next class when we start, so we will write about the months also. January has uh, how many days, February has how many days, all 12 months, you will write the number of days and I'll tell you the trick how you, will how you can find out uh, any number, any month, number of days. Finish writing, guys. No, no sir. Okay, finish fast. Only two minutes are left, guys. Can I go down now? No, 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 Is it clear, guys, now? Yes, sir. Very good. Yes, yes sir. Very, 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 That's very good. Now you all can see, right? Those who are writing this, they can also see. And those who are writing down, they can also see. I will upload it in Classilla course material, guys. If uh, you did not finish it, no problem. I'll upload it in Classilla course material. You can copy it down from there also. So in the next class, guys, we will start about days and weeks questions also. Uh, question related to the calendar. Our class time is finished, guys. Inshallah, I'll meet you tomorrow. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.